you see that drive through right over there all that drive through and the front of the house there was more than a foot of snow all over here and i had to clear it yesterday so the furniture people can come and deliver their furniture i mean our furniture and it took me more than three hours but i finally did it and the only tool provided to me was just a shovel but i think i did a good job right Anyways, the point is that our furniture came. Not everything, but the basic furniture in which we had a sofa set for the main living area, dining set, and a sofa couch set for the den room. Our bed did not came yet because due to COVID, the furniture is still on back ordered, and we are still waiting for that bed. So most likely, we'll be receiving it in the first week of February. But other than that, other furniture came. So let me show you guys that. The dining set came from New Jersey. That means we had to book a Uber truck, drive it to New Jersey, throw the furniture in there, and then bring it back to Pennsylvania. It was a little bit time-consuming, but I think overall it was worth our bucks as we got exactly what we wanted for our this space. So basically we wanted a dining set that could host at least six people so that when we can have friends and family we would have enough space to entertain them with the food and some side table with a snack bar or whatever you want to call it i did not want it to go much something very fancy that's why we went with the basic as i like basic style and a good solid wood and we got a great deal on this dining set so i personally am very happy about it anyways moving on the next thing we have is a sofa set over here in our living area This sofa set was not as much of a good deal as that of a dining set because this is like pure leather. Uh, I like leather, that's why we got this in leather. It's not red, it's not black, it's not brown. It's a burgundish, brownish, chocolateish color. But it cost me almost my two arms. But still, this is not as expensive as the next couch is, which is in the den area, bat cave, man cave, whatever you want to call. I think if you guys saw the last video, you might remember that I told you that I wanted to make that as a cinematic room, cinematic area, fun area, play area, whatever you want to call. So I went all out over there, which costed me not just my two arms, but also my two legs. Anyways, let me show you that. <laughs> This is the best feature of this couch that the seats of this couch reclines and it can recline all the way back and become like a whole bed because it's like a huge seat and not just this seat but that seat on that corner can also recline and become the same bed as this one. This is a five seater as one, two, three, this one is four and this is five. They don't count that seat or this seat but if you like see the whole space you can easily like fit in a lot of people over here. I don't know how many will have to like fit in a lot, but we'll see. If you guys remember, I told you that I want to make this room as a cinematic room. So that's the TV which needs to be mounted on that wall or this wall. This is the mount over here and those are the gooey immersion lights that will go behind the TV and we'll just throw the exact same lights on the wall which will be on the TV. Uh, but the problem is that I don't know how to mount this TV. So right now I'm just sitting over here, chilling around, waiting for a friend to come who's bringing his tools and will help me mount this TV. After a short wait or not so short wait, Zan is finally here. And now we are trying to throw this TV up over here, which we don't know how yet. Do you know how? I know. Yeah, we'll uh, kind of rig it, but you know, we'll go by the instructions step by step. It seems like we have all the equipment to place uh, all the tools that I got. Uh, well, he brought all of his tools. I don't know which these are. Uh, Some drill machines right or something, but. Now, time to put this thing up. This is a 3D full motion, right? What do, what do we call this one? Um, this is like that. It looks like that. For the wall? Yeah. 90 degrees kill. And the lights. So you can sit anywhere in the room and just swivel it. Where you want to. The big thing is to find a stud finder. So if you have a stud finder, it's going to be nice and solid. It's not do we have a stud finder or no? Uh, yeah, I do have a stud finder. Sure. And uh, the 
problem with the stud finder is that every time I touch it, it beeps a lot. So we have to probably you, you have to. Oh, so when is a stud here, huh? <laughs> every man thinks he's a stud. True. It took us a while and a few tries to find the two studs over here uh, after poking some holes. <laughs> what do you think about it? Yeah, no, it, that's a trial and error thing, but we finally found where the hole is. True. Yeah. Right over there and now we have to throw the rest of the things up there. Yeah. It took us a while but finally the TV is up. Right over there, looks perfect with all the angles and stuff. I still need to put the gooby lights but Zan help is done and he has to go to work so thanks so much. No problem, very sad. Enjoy. And now I'll be working on that one. Zan is gone thanks to him. The TV is all up right over here. Uh, now the next thing that I need to put which I forgot that I should have put before I put the TV up there uh, is this gooey immersion lights and this is basically what will give the cinematic lights to the whole area around the TV. I already did all the manual, all I need is these lights to put all around the TV and to connect them to an application and yes these apps are also controlled by Google Home and Alexa Home. Anyways, I think I need to bring the TV down now. It took me a while but finally it's done, uh, all the lights are up, the camera is mounted and it's connected, the TV is back on the wall, uh, it's sunlight, too much sunlight around here so you won't be able to see exactly what the light looks like but let me tell you they look super cool as I just was playing around with them and controlling them with my cell phone but anyways let me turn off the sunlight so I can show you. After the whole of work, this is exactly how I envision the TV to be and this is how it is looking like right now. 4K TV with the LED lights activated on behind it. Now, uh, it was a long tearing day, did a lot of work over here so I am pretty tired. But if you guys enjoyed the video, give this video a thumbs up and I'll go enjoy the TV tonight and I'll see you in the next. Until then. Feel I'm in the mood for a switch up I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup